MB2, the easiest way to find and clean it. After this video, you will never be afraid of upper first molars. Maybe you will even start loving endo. First, create a perfect access. This step is crucial for convenience and preserving as much healthy structure as possible. Second, clean the pulp chamber. You can use either an excavator or a round bore. Try to be as conservative as possible to avoid unnecessary removal of dentil. Third, locate the canals. I recommend starting with the palatal canal, since it's the widest and easiest to find. From there, move buccally and distally to locate the DB and buccally and mesially to locate MB1 canals. Now, for the most interesting part, MB2 is usually hidden between MB1 and the palatal canal. When you found it, be patient, especially at the beginning, since MB2 is usually really tight. Start with size 0.6 and 0.8 cap files, taking your time to work through. Once you open it enough and reach a size 25 cap file, that's when you can switch to rotary files. Don't forget about irrigation, this is crucial for creating a smooth glide path. Once you finish shaping all canals, it's time for obturation. NB1 and NB2 often intervene or cross over each other, so I prefer filling them simultaneously for better adaptation. And here's the final result. Easy, right? Save this so you don't lose it and share it with a fellow dentist who might need it.